My dad was born on Roanoke Island um, in 1921. Um, his uh, father was not rich. His parents were actually poor. His father farmed and fished and did whatever he could to supply for his family. My father had, had uh, there were nine siblings in all. You know, one thing that made a profound impact on his life was uh, serving in the United States Coast Guard. And that's because um, he grew up seeing his father serve at the historic Pea Island Life Saving Station as a substitute. His grandfather served at that station um, when he was in the United States Life Saving Service. His great uncle actually served at the Pea Island Station under Keeper Richard Etheridge. And um, so his, his uh, ties to that station ran deep, and he knew what opportunities uh, African American men were afforded by being able to enter in the United States Coast Guard. So it had always been his dream from a, as a kid to wear one of those Coast Guard uniforms, and I was happy uh, to see uh, him in his uniform because it made him smile so much. The only way for African American men to enter the service then was as a mess attendant. So although he had these great ties to this station, he could only enter that, enter the United States Coast Guard as a mess attendant. Shining shoes, serving meals, making up beds uh, for white officers, but fortunately, a lot due to his own persistent determination, he was able to get transferred to Station P Island, and he served there for the duration of World War II. He's most known here, uh, probably as the last surfman that was assigned to that station. Um, so after he left the P Island Station, he went on to serve ultimately 34 years in the Coast Guard and he would rise from being a mess attendant to being a lieutenant before he died. Uh, one other interesting tidbit is while stationed at Pea Island in his 20s, just think of that, in his 20s, way back then, this poor African-American uh, kid, he gets his private pilot's license. So one of his joys in life, or I should say another of his joys in life, was flying, and he ended up flying um, um, and becoming a, a flight instructor um, when he wasn't working in the Coast Guard. He was very proud of his service. Um, he was very proud of his country. Um, at the time of his death, uh, the com commandant of the Coast Guard actually um, called him a Coast Guard le legend, and he was recognized in the congressional record.